What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel once again, welcome back to another guest replay. In this edition we are looking at my friend Farrako Reborn pushing for his third mark of excellence in the E100. I know he has been trying to get this achievement for a while because he loves his E100 man and he's been stuck on two marks of excellence for pretty much as long as I can remember now. but. We're going to have the pleasure of observing him reaching his third mark of excellence in style here on Northwest, which I wouldn't really, I wouldn't really want to be in an E100 on Northwest, if I'm honest with you. I, I wouldn't really want to be in one, but hey, he pulled it out of the bag and you are going to see just how he manages to do it. So he's pushing up into the middle of the map. Which is a nice brawling spot, actually. I've had I've had some fun taking my Object 268 into that spot and just picking away at people that come around the corner and whatnot. And scoring some good damage in the meantime. So there are some tanks spotted to his left-hand side. A Conqueror and some sort of medium as well. Is he going to encounter anybody pushing up here? He's actually... Okay, yep. Yeah. So he's got a Conqueror to shoot at. He unfortunately misses that shot. It was a snapshot though. And E100s are not too great at firing on the move. So that's to be expected. I don't think... It's, it's one of the most frustrating guns to have. For me, at least. Like I know other people do okay with it. I'm just going to wait for him to shoot the E4. He manages to penetrate the side of the E4's turret from range. The heat ammunition is just insanely good on this tank as well. It really does make such a big difference in how successful you are. He's got the Object 140 in front of him. Let's his gun aim. Can he get the shot? Is he going to be able to do it? That's a very tight shot. I don't think he's going to be able to do that. No, he just missed, unfortunately. But that was very, very tight and not... That wasn't an easy shot to make. So the T-57 Heavy was spotted, although he's just dipped back into cover. So he's going to reverse and try and take a shot of the Conqueror here. Just going to wait for him to push up. If he stays still, is he going to take that shot? Is he going to take it? Is he going to loft it over the hill? Nah, he's not going to do it. I thought he was going to take... I thought he was going to pull the trigger there, but... He's not been lucky with the... With the kind of shots that are available to him right now. This one is nice though. Straight into the Object 140's upper plate for 655 damage. Unfortunate not to get a better roll than that because that is pretty bad. Uh, I tend to roll 600's a lot in my E100. I never really never really get those sort of 8 900 rolls that other people get. But it would be nice to to have that more often. So if the, RN, if the RNG gods are listening in... Please do your thing. Thank you. But yes, continuing with Farrako's gameplay. So he's he's sticking in this spot right here. There's the Conqueror and the Object 140's come down. Takes another shot into him. Even more unfortunate doing 577 with that roll, which is nearly the lowest roll that you can have. I think the lowest roll that you can have is 563. Don't quote me on that though, just in case I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've heard that mentioned somewhere before. So, he's going to push on the Object 140 to see if he can finish him off with this 15 centimeter gun of his. Now also, just a, just a disclaimer as well, pushing for marks of excellence, you can't really blame him for using heat in the U100. That's a nice shot on the T-57 Heavy right there. 725 damage done. I think he may have tracked him as well. But yeah, considering that he is solely playing this right now to try and get his third mark of excellence. That's why he's got a heat loadout as such. And is firing predominantly heat. Now, lots of people do make AP work very well in the E100. I, myself, try to make it work but when I get frustrated I don't hesitate to load the heat because I know how good the heat is and how much of a difference it makes on this tank now he took a blind shot at the T57 heavy there but I think it may have been something else is spotting him 
Something else is spotting him. I presume it's probably one of the TDs back there. Because he didn't, he didn't hit the T-57 heavy. And he wasn't proxy spotting anything until that Object 140 just pushed past. The Conqueror is going to push round on him. Is he? Ah, oh, dude. That's a bad move, Mr. Conqueror. Another low roll. 690. Not the best roll. He does manage just... Or he does manage to bounce the Conqueror's shot in return. He's got the E4 on his left-hand side as well as that Object 140 that pushed round. So it's getting kind of busy down here. He's going to go for the E4. Naturally a more dangerous threat. Sorry, he's got the T62A to his left, not the Object 140. But the E4 is a more dangerous threat. And he recognized that he could kill him with that shot. Take him out of the game and sway the game more into his team's favor. And more favorable for him. Unable to get a shot onto the T62A. That Conqueror just backed up in time for him not to get a shot at him too. He's still got the Conqueror on here as a right hand side. But he hasn't popped out yet. Unable to get a shot on the 62A still. He's kind of umming and ahhing about what to do right now. And now there is a heavy tank behind him. I'm not sure what it is though. Would be nice to get the replay system soon. Hopefully that's going to happen at some point. Because, you know, then we can... Then I can fully understand what's going on. I can I can watch the... You know, watch the battle from a outside perspective before I run a commentary on it. And, you know, it just, it just didn't help. It would help improve my content. So, but... I've heard rumours that it's being worked on. So hopefully that's going to be coming at some point soon now he's pushing on the conqueror manages to get a good shot into his engine right there and get the fire a nice roll to well an average roll of 750 something whatever it was bounces both of the conqueror's return shots and then finishes him off so he's up to nine hits of damage now with two kills no assisted damage but that's to be expected. It's an E100, you know. Like you're not really, you're not really going to going to be doing a lot of spotting for your team, unless you know you're into that sort of thing. But generally speaking, you're not going to be doing too much of that. Now he's moving into the cap because the T62A is currently in the cap. Gets a good shot. Another low roll though, 663. Now, I already know how much damage he does at the end of this game. But now, I'm, now I feel sorry for him because he could have done so much more if he had... You know, spoiler. Spoiler alert. But he could have done so much more if some of these rolls that he's had were much higher than what's actually... You know, what has actually occurred for him. Now, he can't hit the T62A here. And even if... He was to pull off that shot. Even with the heat rounds, that is... That's a very hard shot to penetrate. T-62A's turret is one of the strongest in the game. We just had to... Uh, sorry, I just had to edit it there so that it comes to this section. Because he sent me the he sent me the video in two parts directly from DVR. So I wasn't actually prepared for that happening. But hey. Manages to get a nice shot on the move on the T-62A, smashing him for a total of 802. He recognizes that the Conqueror is behind him and is going to push down the hill, so he turns his tank. But the Conqueror manages to kill himself. <laughs> T-57 Heavy is bouncing. He takes a snapshot at him, but doesn't manage to get the kill, unfortunately. He's now up to 11 hits of damage with two kills. There's only three enemy tanks remaining. One of them is a charioteer, which he just spots on his right-hand side. Is he going to manage to get the shot? No. Charioteer just dips into cover. I really need to get me one of those, man. I've been after a charioteer for a while. I think that's going to be my next grind, just to get a hold of that baby. But he's pushing towards the T-57 Heavy now. No tanks remaining, pretty much. Just two. The charioteer and the T-57 Heavy. So, he realizes that the T-57 Heavy is really low on health, and the Charioteer has more health. So, he's going to sit here, and that is a great shot. Just lofted over the hill, 513 damage done to finish off the Charioteer, and he's now going to go for the T-57 Heavy to get his third kill.
or his fourth kill, sorry. He's already on three kills. 12 hits of damage. That is very nice in the U100s. When you, when you look at it retrospectively, I think that's the right word. I'm probably just using English for the wrong reasons, but hey, he considered the difference between 12 hits in an E50M and an E100, and that is a nice amount of damage done. I'd be very, very happy with this. T57 Heavy is just going to blindly push around. He manages to get a shot into his side, finish him, him off, and end in the game on 4 kills and 13 hits of damage. So we'll take a look at his stats for that game and see how he's done. High caliber, 3 marks of excellence finally, 7,197 damage done, 3,270 damage blocked. That's a great game, man. Awesome stuff. He did manage to get a first class mastery badge as well. Done several different shots and several different enemies for the amount of damage that he did in that game. Naturally topping his team. 16 shots fired, 12 direct hits and 12 penetrations. And that is the game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little replay from Farako. There will be more guest replays undoubtedly in the future. And until next time. I will catch you then. Peace out.